So litter management is one of the most important aspects of poultry, even though a lot of people don't talk about it. And it's too important to not be talked about. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the perfect time to pack your litter and how packing it the wrong time can negatively affect your birds. Yes, it is very important that you do it the only right way. So as you can see here, I have actually packed this side of the house. <coughs> Shut up! So welcome back to DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So if you are here to subscribe to this channel, this is where I talk about poultry farming, where I help poultry farmers excel and succeed in poultry farming. So if you want to learn more about poultry farming, everything you need to know about poultry farming, you want to hit the subscribe button right away and also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. If you are liking the content of this video, you want to click the thumbs up button. Okay, so as you can see, I've actually packed this side of the house already and um, this is the part that is left. But what is the perfect time to pack your litter? What is the perfect time to change the bedding or in your chicken house in this video i'm not only going to be focusing on uh the time where the litter is due for a change that's not just what i'm going to be talking about but you know you don't want the litter to start producing ammonia you don't want it to be too smooth at the surface you still want the shavings to be loose and you know when it's getting caked when it gets when it's getting cemented so you want to know that okay you you, you know it's the perfect uh, you know it's already due for a change and you want to do that quickly but more importantly at what time of the day do you pack the litter and what are the things you do to your chickens before you pack the litter that is another thing i'm going to be talking about and it's the most important part of this video okay so as you can see this is fresh shavings here that i'm going to spray on the floor yeah it's been in the store for a couple of or weeks now so this is what i'm going to spray on the floor what is that perfect time of the day to do it you want to do it in the cool of the day and preferably when the birds have not eaten so much because what because your aim is you want to reduce stress you want to reduce the stress you'll be causing the birds as much as possible so you want to keep the stress very minimal and that is why you want to do it when the birds have not eaten preferably in the morning when they are yet to eat as you can see all these feeders are emptied they i actually put just little feed in the night so they had it overnight and um, i knew this morning i would have a uh, clean feeder so i've lifted it up they are actually hungry if i put feed now you see how they will rush the feed so that is when you want to do it because chickens with crop fuel chickens that have attained crop fuel that have eaten and their crop is full they are supposed to be resting you know take water rest and convert the feed don't forget broilers are meat making machines so they want to have the feed in their crop then they rest they digest the feed and convert it into meat most of it into meat so that is why you don't want to do this operation when they are full because from packing by packing the litter you know most of them will be jumping you see running from the uh the shovel and all that so you want to minimize stress you want to make sure that they are still very active you know when they don't have food that is when they can run, run, rush at the feed <clears throat> that's when they can rush at the feed they have energy to burn and without causing them so much stress uh, so you want to ensure that the feed is out but then the water should not be out because water out is stress 
on its own so there's still water in these drinkers that i have here and that's a very good one there's still water for them to drink and you want to do this operation as quickly as possible and also without much impact on the beds because they have not eaten i should not say okay let me now break the shavings anyhow and cause them to be running up and down no you want to try and chase them to one side and then clear that part that you are uh that you want to pack so that is one reason why i actually pack this side first so i'm going to spray this fresh shavings here so once i do that then i'll move the ones that are here on this lid uh, on this shaving so they can stay here while i pack here so the motive is you reduce the stress as much as possible you don't also get them close to the place where you are pouring the shaving so that you don't they don't take in so much dust so they are going to take in dust fine they are going to be stressed fine but we are reducing it as much as possible that's our number one goal because if you stress your beds that few 30 that 30 minutes that few hours that you used to stress them they will lose weight gain during that time and you know it's not good for you as a farmer you need those weights coming up like massive so that's one thing you want to do so right now i'm going to continue with the work i'm going to spray this on the floor and then pack this other one inside the sack uh, this is the sack containing the one i've packed i've put some parts away and you know that's how we do it so thank you very much for watching if you're here to subscribe don't forget go and subscribe and see you in the next one Bye bye Thank you.